Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to show you guys the dried results of my primary elements experiment. So uh, it's fully dry and it actually has a nice coat of resin on it. I decided to resin my canvases for this piece. Normally I varnish them with uh, Liquitex gloss varnish, but these ones, I don't know, the pastel colors were just way too pretty and I wanted to uh, put resin on them. And since they're only eight by eight, I figured why not, right? So it dried, like, I mean, it swallowed up the colors, obviously, but it really did leave a beautiful pastel cloud. So I'm actually really happy with it. I'm not happy that the, you know, the colors got eaten up, but, or swallowed up, call it what you want. But I do love the way the colors turned out. They're so pastel and soft and I just love the way they look. So I'm actually kind of happy with this. This one's pretty too. So I'm liking it. Let me know if you guys like the final results. It is for sale. So if anyone is interested in this piece, it's eight by eight, eight by eight and eight by eight. Triptych, if you're interested, email me. Um, my email is listed in the description below. So feel free to email me if you are interested. And then the other piece I did from my last video that is dry and has a one coat so far. I still have to do a second, but it does have one coat of gloss varnish on it. So it still needs another coat, but this one is very rich in color. And I actually like the way this one turned out too. It's different. It's obviously not my typical Dutch pour. There is a lot of dark blue here in the center. However, it's like a deep, ocean blue so it looks really cool i'm trying to see if you can see and you can't catch it in the camera but there is some shine and shimmer to it but look at that it turned out pretty neat i'm actually happy with this piece i was watching it you know a couple hours after it was drying and it was still morphing um, because this part here wasn't even there. It was all the way up here and it moved down in here. So it definitely changed. Look at that. That's how rich the pigments are, the primary elements. They actually bleed through the canvas, which is actually kind of cool. Kind of like a picture and painting on the back, right? So anyways, there they are guys, my two experiments with um, primary elements and they are dry resin on this one varnish on this one and if you're interested in buying the primary elements pigments um, you can check out the website it is listed in the description below and you can save 20 percent off the entire website if you use my code canela 10 no sorry canela 120 that's it so if you want anything check out the video or the description and you'll see the links in there all right, I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'll be right back and I'll tell you guys what I'm up to tonight. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm gonna do one final video of an experiment, okay? So I've done, my last two videos were complete experimental videos, um, things I've never tried before. So I figured, what the heck, one more, let's make it three. So I'm gonna try swipe. I've never ever done a swipe. I've seen many people doing swipes. Um, one of the people I've been following that has been doing swipes a lot lately and is just killing it is Erica Hughes. So um, I've been watching her. She's got a lot of videos. Um, Tammy Anderson also has a few. So check those girls out. But Erica Hughes has been doing some really cool swipes lately and she has totally nailed that one, guys. So I figured, you know what? I've never tried it and I'm gonna give it a go. Um, and I've never tried it before and I'm recording. So I figured, hey, I'll do it with you guys watching. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, then you'll see me fail at something new. 
because you know I do a lot of Dutch pours but that doesn't mean I'm good at everything so I'm going to give it a go and see what I can do with this all right now my I have colors here that seem to be exploding out of my squeeze bottle sorry so I have a dioxazine purple a neon pink can you believe how dirty my bottles are shame on me and prism violet and then for the bottom half of the swipe I'm doing phthalo blue um, green blue phthalo blue green blue you can't even see them. my bottles are so dirty uh, and iridescent green blue by Pebeo. Um, my bottles are so dirty because they are the Shelly Art bottles. These are my Shelly Art um, mixes. So that's why um, it is a messy technique, but a lovely technique if you get it right. Um, it's not an easy technique, but once you do get it, it is a lot of fun. You may have seen the uh, 25 sets of coasters I had posted on my Instagram. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. But I had an order, custom order, of 25 sets of coasters, guys. Uh, and they were all done with the Shelly technique. So that was insane it took me almost my entire christmas holiday to uh do that so i'm just gonna lay down now these are very thick colors um they are definitely not your thin consistency for a dutch pour and i know a lot of you may or may not like the shelly technique some of you love it some of you really hate it and for those of you who really hate it, I'm really sorry, but it is what it is. Um, you know, I like trying new things. Maybe I will try a swipe differently using other stuff, but I will not use silicone. I refuse to use silicone to do a swipe to get cells. You all know how much I really hate silicone, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but as I was saying, I know some of you like this technique, some of you don't. I promise my next video after this one will be back to your regularly scheduled Dutch pours. I will come back to that. All right. Now, do I know what I'm doing? Heck no. I have no clue what I'm doing, guys. No joke. I really don't. Um, I, like I said, I saw a few videos of Erica's. You know, I try to watch them real quick. Time is very limited for me. I'm a very busy person, just like I'm sure all of you are. Everybody's busy, right? Everyone has a life. Everyone has kids or family, dogs, this, that, whatever. So that keeps me really busy. You know, some of you are probably bored watching this, but if you are, fast forward to see the final results. Um, huge thank you to Patty and Marion for your PayPal donations. You guys are so generous. Thank you very much, ladies. I really appreciate it. It uh, will really help and go a long way. So thank you. Um, the rest of you, uh, don't forget, uh, check out Juno's YouTube channel. The link is listed in the description below. And I try and post videos a couple times a week of his shenanigans. He's a funny boy. Okay, so I've laid down my colors. I don't know if I did that right. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to add my white now, my, which is the cell activator. All right. If any of you are interested in learning about the Shelly technique, um, I do have a full video tutorial on my channel it is a video number i believe 131 i'm pretty sure 131 or 132 one of the two i think it's 131 but anywho all right so i'm ready to go i got my lowly veffy mat for anyone who doesn't know about it nice silicone mat 
perfect for pouring on because you can clean it up after when you're done. I have my scraper again from Loli Veffy and I don't know, let's, uh, let's give this a whirl. I don't even know how to hold this, how hard to push down. I don't know. Oh my God. We that is fun. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's pretty. See, I kind of let go here, but wow. Oh, sugar. Too hard. And I'm messing it up. It's okay. I will tilt that off. This is crazy. Kind of fun, though. Wow. Look at that. All right, I don't know if I should be pushing harder, lighter. I don't know. Trial and error, I guess, right guys? All right, so that takes care of the blue side. Let me flip her around because there's no way I can swipe upside down. This is gonna be so cool if it turns out nice for my first try. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so let's go this way now. I might even have some blue in there, who knows. Oh, no. I guess the key is not to push down too hard because then you'll end up scraping the canvas, right? Like I did on my first go around. And then I guess you want to go lightly so that you can get the white to skim over the colors and create the cells. I may have added too much cell activator in the center. So I don't know. I'm going to tilt away. Whew, it's messy though. Messy, messy. All right. Can you see that? I don't think you can see that. Look at that. It's like a perfect circle. That is so neat. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of white. I wonder if I should do it one more time, but I'm going backwards now. Uh, I don't know, let's try one more time. I don't know. Did that do anything? Did it make it better? I don't know. All right. So then you're supposed to tilt this thing. I don't even know how I'm supposed to tilt this, but I guess we'll start with tilting sideways to get all the edges covered. I don't know. Like it looks cool like this. I'm worried if I tilt it, I'm just going to muck it up, but because nothing is moving here. I oh sugar. Well, if you want to waste paint, that's one way to do it. Oh, that is too funny. Well, you know, it's house paint. It's not, um, you know, my artist loft, acrylic flow white. It is uh, house paint. So whatever, it is what it is. But I need it to flow off the sides. Um, and I don't think it's moving very much. Come on, move, move, move. See, I'm very good at doing my coasters with the Shelly technique, let me tell you. I've nailed that down to a science, but I'm trying. Come on, move colors. Get moving. All right. Okay. Wow, what a mess. Gotta love it. No, I don't wanna do that. I will tilt a smidge more, hoping 
to get that corner. I hope I'm not like doing that out of focus or out of camera angle. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay, so that worked there. Now I gotta, I gotta kinda get to this bottom purple corner. This is kinda cool though. This is gonna be really neat once I stretch it up and down a bit. But I gotta get the corners first. If I don't get these corners, then we're gonna have a problem. So, let's try and get down. Slippery sucker, let me tell you. Okay. Worst part is I can't even see. I'm trying to keep an eye on you guys, but also keep an eye on I guess it would help if I don't touch the blue. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Messy. It's kind of cool though. Oh my gosh. Seriously. All right. So now I am going to move. See, the issue with the Shelly technique is because the paint is so, so thick, it moves like molasses, like stupendously slow um, because it's so thick. So that's the problem. You have to have some serious patience if you're working on this technique. All right, come on, make your way down. Maybe if I shake it, come on. I'm trying to get it to go over the edge, right? I um, wonder if I kind of dip. <laughs> all right. See, now I'm creating, all right. Kind of going, kind of, somewhat. One thing to do is to just kind of tap it and help it. Let's see. It ain't easy, let me tell you. Okay, wow. My poor lowly Veffy mat is now a very, very dirty lowly Veffy mat. All right. I'm gonna a little bit more all right okay now it's flowing there we go okay so now I am going to bring it back to the center or at least kind of even it out bring it back a little I might have to fast forward through some of this this is going to take a long time Okay, and now I will go down this way, if it even goes down that way. It's really cool though. Like, I mean, for my first try, oh, there it is, there it goes. I just gotta, come on. Start to see what I'm doing. Sorry guys, I know it's not in camera angle, but I'm just trying to get down to this corner here. All right, I will mess with the sides or the corners later because that's not the most important. I don't want the whole thing to run off on me. So I will Tilt it back so that it goes back the other way. And while it's going back the other way, I will touch up my corners. Because it's got to go back. What goes up must come down, right? Something like that. See if I can blow some of that. All right, what's going on over here? Almost, kind of. Not quite. 
I got it centered though. It's right back in the center. It's kind of cool. It's like ocean waves, like the ocean and crashing waves meets like a, obviously not sand, but um, I just lost a push pin. Lovely. All right, as I was saying, Wow, so slippery. I'm trying to hold on to the push pins and it is hard. Okay, I'm almost done. Um, that side's good. This side, not so much. I'm sorry, guys. This is probably t taking a little too long, but almost. It's going. I'm really liking it though, like seriously liking this. I might have to do this again for sure. Okay, I need to help this along. Okay, all I'm gonna do now is bring it back to the center and I'm done. But I gotta say, oh, look at that bottom corner, that little circle around there. That looks cool. I like that. Look at that. Boy, I sure made a mess. All right, let me, sorry guys. It really does look like the ocean okay there it is i might try and tilt it a little bit more did i lose another push pin i did where'd the sucker go oh there it is oh this is come on there we go okay <laughs> so messy. I feel like so discombobulated. This is crazy. All right. Well, as uh, I'm waiting for this to go back down to the center, I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> and I hope you guys liked following me on my experimental journeys. Um, if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it's pretty neat. Um, it is my first ever swipe. So... Um, you know, it's not going to be perfect. I kind of like it though. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time I post a new video. This is cool. I have a ring here and a ring here. I like it. I'm not going to move the camera because my hands are covered in paint. So I'm just going to try and show you guys here, like this. It's not like the paint's going anywhere. <laughs> what do you guys think? For my first swipe, I kind of like it. And it's fun, definitely fun. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, all my info is listed below in the description box, guys. Check out the uh, Loli Vefi website, pick up your mat, you save $5, use code CANELA5, save five bucks off the jumbo and the mega mat. Um, that is it, you guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Uh, I will catch you guys on the next video, which I promise will be a Dutch pour. Take care, everybody. Bye.